G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here, and today we're gonna to take a look at some new things rolling out to Microsoft Lists, and that is the new Edit in Grid View option. So formerly known as, as Quick Edit, uh, a lot of you out there are, are used to using the, the Quick Edit mode uh, to edit and add and delete and update list items uh, at, uh, dare I say it, at the, at the speed of light. Um, now, the new uh, function rolling out to lists is, is actually, I, I guess, replacing that quick edit uh, mode. We're calling it now edit in grid view. And there's a couple of uh, features that I, I think uh, are gonna bring you some value. So let's jump in and have a look. You can see here I'm in Microsoft lists. Now I've got the default list here created for the content scheduler. I've got a couple of list items here. Now let's now pop this into grid view. You'll notice that we're in grid view. Um, now the first thing that we can, that you'll notice that we can do is we can use the tab key to tab across our different cells here um, and across the, the different row. And you'll also notice um, the first column is a sticky column. So we can, that, that column there, the ID column in this case, stays in locked in that position and we can scroll left or right um, so that we can keep track of the item that we're on. Now, I'm also just gonna jump into this description field. Actually, I'll jump into this one. Let's actually accidentally delete this, uh, delete the contents in here. We'll tab across. You'll notice I've got this new undo button up the top here. Now this uh, is going to save people uh, a lot of, um, I guess, a lot of stress when they're when they're in Quick Edit and they're uh, going through their their list items and they're updating and they might have made a mistake. What we can do here is we can click the undo button and that is going to uh, undo the last edit that we did. Now, let's tab across here now too as well into this content type column because this has got a couple of options for us. Now, when we click inside here, you'll see that I've now got the option and the ability here to be able to select not only the multiple um, multiple options here, but we drop down into a nice UI here of the options and I can just choose, click the tick, and we are good to, to now move across. Now, the other thing that has been updated here is the, uh, the the calendar. So I'm gonna jump into the draft due by, or actually let's go into the publish by. So we'll click inside here, you'll see this nice new uh, user interface for the calendar. We can adjust the calendar, the date here, and we can click the tick and we're, uh, again, we're good to go. So a couple of great additions here. We can also add new items directly from uh, from the, uh, the, the next column, or what we could do is also tab across, and if we keep tabbing and we get to the last column, we keep tabbing, similar to Excel, we can jump out down into the next line there also. The other, um, uh, I guess, good thing here is uh, a lot of times people are also wanting to, uh, to save this view. So we might wanna always open up this list into quick, uh, into the grid view. I was gonna say quick edit mode there, but uh, the, the grid view here. So we can also now save this view here as um, uh, directly inside of the grid view. So let's go open in grid view as the view name and we'll make it public and we'll now save that. And you'll see now we're in this view. If I flick back to all items, you'll see I'm in the normal view. And now when I flick into uh, opening grid view, that will then open that directly in that mode. We can set it as default so that it always opens up. Um, now the other, uh, before, we, before we finish up, the other key little thing here from a visual and a UI perspective is that we can have fixed height uh, rows. So you'll notice when I click the fixed height, it, um, it fixes the height of these rows and you'll see that it's nice and compact. Or we can go back to auto fit, then that will then auto fit the contents of, uh, of, of the, 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 the cells in this case. So the quick edit uh, view changing now into the, the grid view, uh, some great functionality there, some improved functionality so that you can update, you can add and you can edit um, or, or delete items directly from within that, uh, that grid view. Hope that brings you some value. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.